Hi and welcome to Keen's Cove. Today I'm going to have a rummage in my static grass box. So this is the ProGrass Detailer from WWS and when you buy it, it comes in a handy box. And this is the ProGrass Detailer. Here's the detailer itself. Batteries go in one end. As with all static grass applicators, here's the clip. And then there's a couple of ends. A larger one and a smaller one. The reason why I really like this is because with the smaller one you can get into really tight spots around buildings. For those slightly larger areas, perhaps along the track side that we're going to go do in a minute, the larger one is also very good. So you can buy static grass from all sorts of different providers. So here I have some static grass from WWS. Some from Javis, Countryside Scenics, and this is from Woodland Scenics. In terms of value for money, just as an example, this small bag of two millimeter from Woodland Scenics costs four pound eighty. For the same amount of money, I've been able to buy two whole bags from WWS. In terms of quality, I can't really tell the difference between them, but what I find with the WWS stuff is that there's far more choice of colours. And these three small packs are the ones that come with the detailer. Now I do have another applicator. This is the very first one I bought. I bought this maybe two and a half years ago now, and this is the Woodland Scenic Static King. Now I have used this in the past quite extensively. When I built my first layout, it was an eight by four roundy roundy with lots of rolling hills and lots of fields and so the larger applicator was just perfect for that. The Static King comes with three different tops, different sizes, so you just take them off, exchange it for another one. So that is handy when I'm doing the larger lengths. As a cable and then as with all applicators the crocodile clip and it also comes with a foot but to be honest I've never used that it also helpfully comes in with a divider so that you can put half of one length in that side and another length in that side so you could do two and four millimetres or four and six at the same time. And then this particular top has two different sets of mesh. So the smaller mesh for the two and the larger mesh for the four. So it's quite handy and it gives you a mix of lengths all at once. So it's quite a good feature. This is also battery operated, but if you pay extra money, you can buy the adapter. Now the only thing I found with this is when you put the battery in the bottom, it's virtually impossible to keep the uh, to keep this flap closed. So I've had to tape it over, but it doesn't affect how it works. Now the reason I don't use the Static King on Keynes Cove is because the areas that I need to do are quite small. So if I wanted to do this area here, this side of the building, you can see that this applicator is just too big whereas the detailer can get right in between the building and the road into those small areas the best tip that i can give you for having really good static grass is using a great glue and i have to say i've tried all sorts of manufacturers and honestly the basing glue 
and the layering spray from WWS is the best, I think, that you can buy. The important thing that I've learnt is not to use too much. So this is the area between the tracks that I want to lay some static grass. Now top tip number three is not to lay it evenly. So I start off with the basin glue. I've just got an old paintbrush. And I just dab bits on where I want the static grass to go. And then with my brush, I'm just gonna swirl it around. Then I'm gonna make sure that I leave gaps in between. Now later on I can go back and fill those gaps with more grass if it doesn't look right. Or I can fill them with my soil mixture with grout. So there's my glue all spread out. Now you can attach the clip to a rail or you can hold it underneath the hopper. I don't really think it makes any difference. So this is a two millimetre light green. I'm giving it plenty of passes and holding the hopper, or should I say holding the applicator, quite close to the grass. And you're not going to be able to see this, but as you pass over it several times, the grass that's landed where there isn't any glue almost seems to cling back onto the hopper. I think you can see it already looks really good and quite natural. So I'm going to use the static grass layering spray. I want to be really accurate with this, so hopefully the nozzle will allow me to be. And the idea is to spray it until it's gone white, then you know there's enough glue. If you want to keep the excess grass, just cover up the end of the hoover with an old stocking. And then just decant into a container ready to use again. That's looking good. It's still a bit too green though, so this time I'm going to go for something a bit yellower. So this time I've got a wild meadow in the hopper and it's got, it seems to have more yellowy brown grasses on just to tone this down so let's use our trusty spray I have to say this is so much better than the pump the only reason I got the pump is because WWS can't post aerosols to me over in Jersey so they can only post the pump glue so I was lucky enough when I went to uh, a show recently to meet up with Martin and was able to get some of this which is like gold dust to me Now this grass is slightly longer, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a helping hand by tapping the hopper. Oh yeah, that's a much better colour. I like that. with that. It's a nice colour mix and that was achieved within three layers, a two millimetre and then two four millimetre layers. 
so give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please subscribe and don't forget to leave any comments. Bye.